Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. There is no doubt that among the many forms of crisis our Muslim community is facing in America, one of them is identity crisis. And that is due to the powerful but un-Islamic environment. This is precisely one of the fundamental reasons why Imam Shamsi Ali established Nusantara Foundation in 2014. Since then, Nusantara has been undertaking a variety of initiatives to introduce Islam as a mercy to America and humanity. Since the beginning of 2018, Nusantara has taken a bold initiative to establish the first Islamic boarding school in America. A piece of 25-acre land has been acquired with several old buildings in the beautiful city of Moodis, Connecticut for this purpose. But Nusantara cannot do this noble project without Allah's help and your kind donation and participation. Please, do help and donate generously to Nusantara Foundation. For donations, kindly turn your eyes toward the TV screen. May Allah reward you all abundantly. وجزاكم الله خيرا بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته رمضان مبارك والخمبة بكتمي دفيرة شرنيسا in Islamic in the West Challenges and Important Series with Imam Samshi Ali السلام عليكم إمام والسلام ورحمة الله وبركاته How are you today? الحمد لله Thank Allah Alhamdulillah. Ramadan Mubarak, Imam. Ramadan Kareem, inshaAllah. Okay, Imam. Let's continue our discussions. Mm -hmm. uh, so in the last episode, we discussed more uh, like about Dakwah. Mm -hmm. And I'll be continuing this in this episode to talk more about the examples of Dakwah mm -hmm. that you might be done before or maybe like sure. other examples that you can share to the audience as a Muslim that we should do. Yes, I think I would like to uh, begin with a story. Um, Again, when I was an imam at the Islamic Cultural Center, the 96th Street Mosque mm -hmm. here in Manhattan, New York, I opened a special class for non-Muslims. It's called Islamic Forum for Non-Muslims. Mm -hmm. And I started this after 9-11. So many people came, crowd, crowded. Many Americans came, they were willing to know Islam. Some came just to, you know, to express their anger. Some others came just to find a mistakes that we say because one mistake comes out from our mouth, can become thousands of mistakes on the internet. Some others came seriously studying Islam. And Alhamdulillah, those who came studied Islam seriously, I can say more than 70% accepted Islam. Many, many. You know, most every week, two, three people became a Muslim, Alhamdulillah. But there is one story particularly that I mentioned many times. And there is a man, white, came to the door and he shouted, attack the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu with all bad words. Mm. You're Muhammad is evil, Muhammad is terrorist, Muhammad, you know, you can imagine. You know, he said every bad word about Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Some of the, out the attendants wanted to respond and angry, but they say, no, 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 don't respond. And because I don't want chaos, I don't want fight to happen. And then he finished. Maybe he was tired and then he left. Mm -hmm. When he left, I followed him. I said, sir, and he turned his face. I said, yes. I said, can we shake hand? And I extended my hand and he wanted to, he was willing to shake hand and we shook hand. And then he left. Mm -hmm. The following Saturday, he came again. I thought he was, he is coming also to, you know, to shout and attack the curse. He came and sat down at the corner of the class. So I asked him, are you coming to my class? Because I remember you last time you came angrily. And he said, yes. So what happened? He said, for the last few nights, I could not sleep. Mm. You know, American people feeling guilty easily. They feel guilty easily. So. <laughs> so I said to him, why? He said, because last week I came with all these negative things in my mind. I said every bad words about Islam and, and Muhammad. That's what he said. But you know what, you still came to me and shook hand. You know, I, I, I think my understanding is wrong because you are Muslim and you have different attitude. You know, to make a story short, this brother, his name is Matt, Matthew. He studied Islam, alhamdulillah, six months and he became a Muslim. Oh, you know, not only that he became a Muslim, he became a da'i now. What is his da'wah? Distributing Quran on the street. You know, sometime on Sunday, he got out to the street, putting some tables and distribute translation of the Quran to the people. Because he said, you know, I have to pay 
my mistakes. Mm. And one of the best way to pay is by calling others to Al-Islam. Mm. This is what he did. So this is just a story to give us an, an example that how um, akhlaq, moral ground, human conduct is necessary in making da'wah. So become a role model in your society, you are going to call the society of Al-Islam. You know, in the Holy Quran, Qudwa or Uswa, Prophet Muhammad is a Qudwa. Allah says, لَقَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ أُسْوَةٌ حَسَنًا There is indeed a great example for you to follow in the life of the Prophet Muhammad Wasallam. And the reason is because it is naturally, you know, a fact that everyone needs a role model. Mm. If you are working in the in, in, in office, you want your boss to be a role model. You know, if your boss say, come on time and he doesn't, he's not coming on time, even you don't express it, but you're angry. You don't feel good. How is this possible he want me to come on time, but he, he or she is not coming on time? So being a role model is very important. So Muslims, you have to understand that one of the most effective way of calling the people to Islam is being a role model, become an example, becomes a living Islam, show them what Islam is all about. So you can, I, another example, basically his name is, uh, she's a very young sister. She was a student at Columbia, by the way. Oh, yeah. Her name is Elizabeth Stewart. Mm. And she was the, uh, um, the champion of, uh, national champion of swimming in mm. America. She's tall, mashallah, um, white uh, Caucasian girl. She came to my class and she studied Islam for a long time, like eight months. Mm. But she didn't want to accept Islam. Mm. Until one day I brought her to a open house, mm. uh, Halal Bi Halal, yeah. you know, in the ambassador's house here in New York. Mm. And the following day she called me and she said, Imam, I have something theory, serious to tell, to tell you. So I was joking, Did you, are you going to marry? <laughs> and she's not married at the time. And she said, no, 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 no. no. Um, so what do you want to tell me? She said, I wanted to be a Muslim. Mm, sure. After nine, eight months. So really? I said, really? She said, yes. So I said, come. So she came to the mosque and I asked her, why you decided to become Muslim right now? She said, because yesterday you brought me to this um, halal bi halal, you know, mm. open house. And I feel what does it mean to be a Muslim? Mm. People are friendly. People are humble, people serve me, people give me food, give me drink. I feel good to be among the Muslims. You know, in the past eight months, I studied Islam. I feel Islam is a good theory, concept, but now I see the reality. So that's what really makes her Muslim. Elizabeth uh, Stewart, now she is working with the Sprint uh, Communication. She is um, a consultant. Mashallah, she, she make a lot of money. And, and um, she, she rented an apartment in, in, in Manhattan which is a very small room for like 6,000. I said, are you throwing your money to the garbage? And I said, no, 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 Imam, um, I feel good here. So what do you mean feeling good with this small apartment with paying like 6,000? She said, because if I want to eat, I just go down. I don't need car. Mm. I have all my transportation, so I, f I feel good to live in. But you know, she got a lot of money, by the way. But my point here that look at how being a role model is the best way to convey the message to Islam. I used to say that lecturing speeches is yeah. only 10 to 15 or maybe 20 percent of da'wah. Da'wah is not only speaking f fiery speeches on the members, on the, it's not only khutbas, but it's about showing the people. What does it mean to be a Muslim? You know, smiling to the people, smiling to your neighbors, help them. That's all da'wah in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, some Muslims are offended when, you, when I mention this, but I said the majority, the, the biggest factor why some non-Muslims not willing to accept Islam, even scare about Islam, because we Muslims. Mm. Because we misrepresent Islam. We are talking about politics. Yeah. We are so chaotic in our political life in the Muslim society. No democracy, no freedom. Um, there is a fight between leaders, you know. We, Americans are so scared. Mm. If one day America is becoming the majority Muslim country, what type of country will be at the time America will be? Like Indonesia, like Pakistan, Bangladesh, Egypt, which? So my point here that we have to prove that Islam is best, not only in theory, but in practice in our deeds, in our human character, in our behavior, in our moral conduct. We have to show them in our family life, in everything else. We show them that if you want to be having a best life, follow Islam. 
in your family, you know, how the, the relation between husband and wife, children to the parents and siblings, brothers and sisters, between members of the community, even how to live with non-Muslims. Show them that that's what Islam is all about. Living with non-Muslims means respecting you. You have your own Christmas, do it. You have your own celebration, do it. I don't annoy you, I don't bother you, do it. I respect you, we have different opinions, different faith, that's fine. That is tolerance. But we just prove it, that is the point, just prove it. So that is what Dawah is all about, alhamdulillah. Right, but in order to do that, we need to have faith and knowledge also, yes, Imam, that's right? right? Yes, yeah, so right. we need to have like three aspects as you mentioned. Mm -hmm. Before, sorry, so faith, knowledge, persistence, and the last one is the humbleness. Mm -hmm. That's right. Right, okay. And how do we teach our children to have those four aspects so they can be a better generation? Yeah, the, you know, talking about educating the children also is a, a big, a huge topic, yeah. uh, theme, uh, but I think we can say that in order to prepare our children to be Muslims and Da'i also at the yeah. same time, uh, we need to, um, to begin since their childhood. We prepare from them that their childhood to believe in Islam is the truth, to practice Islam, to implement Islam in their life, how they talk. You know, our children are die in the schools because when they study in the public school, let's say many are Muslims and our children are Muslims, but at the same time they are smart. Our children are Muslims and that's why they don't say bad words. Yeah. Our children are Muslim, that's why they don't fight, for example. They are humble, they are nice, friendly. And that's a da'wah in their schools. So our children are basically playing an important role in, in our community in proving, not only t telling, but proving that Islam is the best way of life. Uh, let me end with this um, uh, short story. Mm. Here in, Bang in Jamaica, there is a, a Bengali young, his name is Muhammad Islam. So one day uh, he played basketball with his friend, happened to be a Caucasian, white, and all of a sudden sunset, Maghrib. So he prayed. So his friend asked him, what are you doing? He said, I'm praying. He said, why are you praying? He said, I become a Muslim. Mm -hmm. And his friend is interested to become a Muslim. Oh. And then he sent him to the masjid. So I asked him, why you want to become a Muslim? He said, because of Muslim, uh, Muhammad Islam. <coughs> so what happened to Muhammad Islam? He said, Muhammad Islam is a nice person. He never say bad words. He is helpful. <coughs> he is kind. He is nice. That is the reason why he became Muslim, not because of prayer, but because yeah. he, Muhammad Islam is nice. <coughs> so again, coming back, to the point that it is very important to be a role model. Okay, mashallah. So the important thing is like the action. Yes. Above anything, to do the duck. To show them, yeah, show them examples in every level of life. All right. You know, if you are a businessman, be a good Muslim businessman. If you are an educator, be a Muslim educator. And you mean the meaning? You know what is the meaning of Muslim? Yeah. If you are a politician, be a Muslim politician. If you are doing even taxi driver. <laughs> They are also a great example. They are driving with discipline. They don't stop in the wrong way. They don't speed, over speed. They don't cut the people because you are Muslims. Yeah. There's behavior, there's character, there's morality. And that is da'wah. You know, I'm going to talk of one funny example about taxi driver, but because of the time, I think we are limited. But how a taxi driver be a da'i and can attract the people to learn Islam? You know, some taxi driver, alhamdulillah Muslim, they put translation of the Quran behind the seat, behind the seat. They put pamphlet behind the seat. But not only that, they are driving and showing the example of how to be a good driver as a Muslim. And that's also the hour in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Alhamdulillah. MashaAllah. All right, Ustad. So I think this is a very good example yeah. that you have showed us uh, to the audience as well. And then let's end our discussions for today and continue uh, for tomorrow and so on. All right. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this today's episode. I'm Devira Charunisa. We'll be back tomorrow with Imam Samashi Ali. Thank you. Assalamualaikum. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. There is no doubt that among the many forms of crisis our Muslim community is facing in America, one of them is identity crisis. And that is due to the powerful but un-Islamic environment. This is precisely one of the fundamental reasons why Imam Shamsi Ali established Nusantara Foundation in 2014. Since then, Nusantara has been undertaking a variety of initiatives to introduce Islam as a mercy to America and humanity. Since the beginning of 2018, Nusantara has taken a bold initiative to establish the first Islamic boarding school in America. 
a piece of 25 acre land has been acquired with several old buildings in the beautiful city of Moodis, Connecticut for this purpose. But Nusantara cannot do this noble project without Allah's help and your kind donation and participation. Please do help and donate generously to Nusantara Foundation. For donations, kindly turn your eyes toward the TV screen. May Allah reward you all abundantly. Which is Akum Allahu Khairan.